is the war between Afghanistan and, Pos- and Pakistan possible in the current situation, considering recent airstrikes of Pakistan on Afghan land? Well, Afghanistan and Pakistan have unfinished business. Uh, the Afghans claim a sizable portion of territory that is currently in the hands of Pakistan. So the Northwest Frontier Province is a place of, of Pakistan, which is currently in Pakistan, has a Pashtun majority population. And they wish to be part of Afghanistan. They are Pashtuns. They they consider their territory to, to be Pashtunistan. The Pakistani government isn't quite in, in 100% in control of this, of this region. There is a reasonably open and porous border with Afghanistan. So there is a long-standing territorial dispute between Afghanistan and Pakistan. The Afghans claim Pakistani territory and the Pakistanis don't want to give it. Right? So that is a conflict that's been there for a very long time since... Well, essentially since the 1820s and 1830s, since the days of the great Maharaja Ranjit Singh. So uh, that's a whole different backstory that I will not go into right now. So Afghanistan claims territory currently occupied by Pakistan, which is Pashtun majority. Now, in recent times, there have been multiple clashes between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Afghanistan is now ruled by the Taliban. The Americans handed handed over Pakistan to the handed over power in Afghanistan to the Taliban and terrorists who are now the uh, rulers of Afghanistan. And there have been clashes in recent times. Just a week or two ago, the Pakistani Air Force conducted airstrikes in official Afghan territory, killing a large number of innocent civilians, men, women, children. That's what the Pakistanis did because they can. So the question is, is a war between these two nations possible? See, Afghanistan, which is essentially the Taliban, is in no position to fight a conventional war with Pakistan. The Pakistani army is a professional army. It's a well-trained army. It can certainly overwhelm Afghanistan anytime it likes. It is not quite as professional and as well-trained as the Indian army. It is no match for the Indian army. But it it, it can certainly take care of Afghanistan. A bunch of Taliban fighters, uh, they, they are nothing compared to the Pakistani army, especially the kind of uh, equipment the Pakistanis have. They have tanks, they have a proper air force with F-16s and various Chinese fighter planes and so on. So they, they can... So the Taliban doesn't stand a chance in a conventional war with Pakistan. And the Pakistanis, of course, have nukes, which are for India, not for Afghanistan. Now, what the Taliban can do is to wage a non-conventional war with the Pakistanis, which means their typical tactics of insurgency, right? Freedom fighting, insurgency, whatever you want to call it. When it comes to Pakistan, we'll call it that. So that's what the Taliban can do. They have a significant amount of support in the northwest frontier province. Lots of Pashtuns live there. Lots of Pashtuns live in Karachi and other parts of Pakistan. So there is always a potential of the Taliban using that, of the Afghans using that advantage against Pakistan. So I don't see a full-fledged war erupting between Pakistan and Afghanistan. But I don't see the relationship being a normal relationship, being a stable relationship, being a cordial or friendly relationship. People view the Pakistanis as essentially owning Afghanistan, which is not quite the case. The Taliban are Afghan nationalists and they do not like being under the boots of the ISI, the Pakistani ISI. So it's a complex situation, but I expect the thing, the the relationship to deteriorate further in the coming months and years, it's not going to be a fun time for Pakistan. But I don't see a full-fledged war also happening. It may be a low-intensity conflict for the time being.